Oh, could it be my fault? It wasn't my fault. What do you mean? Uh, I, uh, I underestimated how hard it would be to put the uh, government in Iraq and then the other, uh, the interviewer, uh, and I don't know his name, uh, uh, Jim, uh, Jim Lair. Oh, hey, Jim Lair. Of uh, PBS. And he was like, oh, you don't think that uh, the chaos that followed the uh, lack of government after was uh, connected? And then Dick Cheney was like, well, I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, can connect the dots on this. I don't see the connection between us uh, starting a war in Iraq and bombing everything and then no government and then it's chaos after all. It doesn't make sense to Dick Cheney when this guy is in charge. You know, he might be telling the truth too. Maybe he actually cannot see the connection and they're like, oh my lord, and people voted for this administration and stuff. And I was like, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Maybe he really does have some sort of mental disease or some, some sort of sociopathic disorder where you're not aware of the actions of your irrational thinking and stuff. But he's still a pretty scary looking guy for a bald guy with glasses. He has this aura of menace around him that I can detect for I am uh, I'm quite empathic. Yes, and I can uh, in the way he dresses and his mannerisms, it's pretty evil. He's pretty I don't know, hmm. I don't know if he's older than John McCain or younger, but yeah, this just goes on and on, and he's not accepting responsibility, and he was going, oh, you have a dismal approval rate, and he's like, I don't believe that. It's true, though. It's, it's, it's not that if you believe it or not, it still exists. It's not like the tooth fairy or something. Dick Cheney, are you weird, though? But oh well, I, I hope you get the TV show or something and do lots of interviews, because it's interesting to listen to you talk, because it's very uh, unsettling. It's disquieting. Bye!